I don't want to superimpose my values on the person's experience. Um, so I, I have ideas about what has been useful to me in my own experiences. If I do share any of them, I do so very, very thoughtfully um, because this is a separate human being who has his or her own life to live and story and struggles. Um, I hope to be of aid and to offer some glimpses of insight or some support while they go through the experience. Uh, but I continue to be surprised by what occurs spontaneously for them. It is often so different than what I thought. I tend to kind of leave my thoughts aside. They're often not useful. Um, it's much more important for me to be present with that person and to guide them in their own unfolding. Um, and then we can integrate and reflect on and learn from it. Um, they'll write about it. They'll talk about it. We often invite people to draw or paint um, imagery that occurs that's meaningful for them. But it's really a part of their life's unfolding. Um, so I, I really try to be thoughtful about um, kind of setting aside my values to really invite them to experience fully what they need to. Um, and again, that's part of the mystery of things. Sometimes people go through tremendous struggle and reflectively um, feel that they somehow needed to experience that. So kind of the pairs of opposites, um, part of what I'm learning is if someone goes through some difficult space, they can learn from that. They can grow from it. So we're not trying to just occasion positive, beatific, vision-type experience. We want to really be fully there with the person um, through whatever they go through um, and hope that it's meaningful. Um, and with that kind of sincerity, um, it's often the case that people do really find it helpful in some ways.